Hey guys, so today apparently I thought it would be maybe enjoyable for you to possibly just watch other people spend their money rather than jeopardize your finances in a time where we should be much more conscious, like right now. So for your enjoyment, I am going to spend God knows how much money um, to just pick up a few things that I've been meaning to and really just monopolize on some sales. And I want to preface this by saying that I am spending responsibly. So um, again, like I mentioned, this is stuff that I already had on kind of like my wish list. These are things that I need and or have been looking to purchase for a little while, but put them on the back burner because the habit and also because making conscious decisions is how you keep yourself from overspending. So you have decluttered recently and you want to make sure that you're not adding that clutter back into your space. All you have to do is when you think you want to buy something, don't. You're going to do this very magical thing called waiting so you make a mental note of it or a literal note i mean like put it on a wish list somewhere and in not a couple hours but in a couple of days come back to it and say do i still want that thing chances are nine times out of ten you don't but if you've been waiting literal months like i have there's probably a few things that you still do plus there's also some things that i have bought recently and i just want to purchase more of them because i actually really like them i've been organizing for like who knows how long every few months i like to reorganize my organization so that's what i've been doing and it's just this and i don't have my curtain covering my bed because guess who still didn't hem that me i was thinking about making that a project for the next episode of quarantine chronicles so speaking of so we're also gonna um, do some sewing projects. Right now, I am going to buy some canisters for cooking because that's what we do now. We sit around and snack. So make sure you're also exercising at home because all I've been sitting around doing is eating pasta, which I would love to buy more of, by the way. Currently, my food pyramid consists of carbohydrates and more carbohydrates. Yeah. Oh, and nut butter. So I have a confession to make. I've already bought stuff. I really need to repot some plants. And since it is now early spring, this is the time to do that. And then, wow, my posture in this video is just beautiful. Maybe if we don't cut my neck off, I don't know. Yeah, highlight though. I need like some silicone, like spatulas. I use my Vitamix every single day. And if I have to take a spoon and try to just the inside of it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. Which sounds very dramatic, I know, but it's happening and I'm trying to stop it. Okay, so spatulas. I found some really cute ones at Williams Sonoma, which otherwise I wouldn't go there because, but they're having a sale right now. Or is are they still having a sale? Cause they were having a sale yesterday. I don't, I don't appear to see that right now. Actually, I am completely lying. I have not been cooking that much lately. I've been eating that much lately. It's the difference. If you follow me on Instagram, then you probably heard me mention, I've just been eating my meals raw. I should close that door because it's really bothering me. I'll get over it. For some reason, I also really want like enamel trays. So I was going to get a copper pot because um, I was going to use it like literally just for sugar. But I have an induction stove and copper doesn't work on that. I really like my always pan, obviously. But as you guys know, I recommend using a tall saucepan for cooking sugar. So right now I'm only making it in the microwave, which is like cool and all, but then I only have like a really small supply. The, the constant stopping and starting, like I just wanna cook it and like be done. And there's another company I was looking at yesterday, but I can't remember the name of. This is when Instagram would really come in handy right now, cause they would definitely know what I was looking at yesterday. Oh, maybe I should buy some DIY supplies. A lot of you guys ask me where I get all of this stuff and links that I use are where I'm actually purchasing these things from. So one of the resources that I um, used to use like a lot more often was uh, Mountain Rose Herbs, but they are currently um, shut down temporarily. Another one that I really like is Eden Botanicals. They be having stuff here that I don't see like anywhere else. For instance, the hydrosols. Normally you see rose, lavender, the huge. What I noticed last time I was on here is that they have a turmeric hydrosol, which sounds like amazing, right? I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I haven't been keeping up with my turmeric mask. So I don't really have any results for you because I haven't been 
I haven't been being consistent with it. It's literally like my brain goes too fast or my mouth and the information doesn't get there fast enough. And this is why I talk so fast because I can't process. I'm having a nervous breakdown. So if this video was choppy, that is why. Constantly tripping over my words. They won't roll off my tongue because they can't literally get out of my mouth fast enough. My brain is thinking it faster than my mouth can speak it. So anyway, like I was saying, I'm gonna get some oils. The pomegranate. Oh, they have prickly pear seed oil. And by the way, when you all of a sudden start seeing like one ingredient everywhere, it's not because it's like some new discovery. It's just because whoever has coined that like the golden child of the season is just popular not because its properties are all of a sudden super there's no such thing as a super food the secret is they're all super different oils will have different properties because their composition is different i know i pulled you guys on instagram at one point about doing an oil encyclopedia like which oils have which properties and what conditions will they benefit I still might do that, but I don't have like every single one. I haven't used every single one. So they have sea buckthorn, which I've ordered from here before and is fantastic. Tamanu oil is a staple for me. Like every first aid kit should have tamanu oil at home. It's exceptional for burns. And since I'm on the topic, by the way, I am going to be um, still doing a buy versus DIY. There are certain products I don't buy because of the ingredients. And I'm going to break that down for you in that video. So look forward to that soon. I might go for the prickly pear. Ooh, it's really pricey. One ounce of this is $42. $42. One thing I like about this site is that they really break down the information for everything. Come on here and look at some of your favorite oils and see what the properties are. Why are you not going? I'm clicking. Let's see what they say about prickly pear. Ooh, I have some prickly pear too. I'm going to make it into some juice. Prickly pear and blood orange juice is divine it's like the best combination i have ever discovered i just happened to have the two of them in my refrigerator at the same time it was amazing it's a nourishing oil that is quickly and easily absorbed into the skin it is a fine source of vitamin a e k and fatty acids the inside of a prickly pear is almost like dragon fruit it has a bunch of little seeds in it because it has all of these tiny seeds they can only get so much oil out of it therefore it's going to take a lot more fruit to harvest the amount of oil that is needed for production therefore that is why the cost is higher okay so i think i'm done shopping for the day you guys are gonna to have to wait to see what i got and if you guys want to do like an unboxing with me let me know we are going to fast forward to me opening some stuff Live free, live free, speak your peace. Stay humble, stay humble in these streets. 
chase, yeah. In this chase. Let's go. Playground parks with the trees and the cars. Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch. Murals on the walls for the ones that we lost. Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store. Subway stations with the maps in the cars. Summer cookouts, uncle got the sandals on. Statue of Liberty, we holding up the torch. If they ask where I'm from, tell them this is New York. We from the home of the biggie, people blowing they ciggies. And these girls going wild cause they flashing they this Liddy. Watch your steps cause these blocks we We grew up on that bad boy in 96 with Diddy. Take a walk, come with me. Let me show you what really go down. Fiends on the corner, every hood got a deli or crowns. Cops pull us over, it don't matter if you black or you brown. City never sleeps, this the place the way hip hop was found. Playground parks with the trees and the cars. Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch. Murals on the walls for the ones that we lost. Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store. Subway stations with the maps and the cars. Summer cookouts, uncle. Uncle got the sandals on. Statue of Liberty, we holding up the torch. If they ask where I'm from, tell them this is New York. I look around as I'm viewing the city. Skyscrapers and bridges, bright lights, fast life, Manhattan living. Cross over downtown, welcome to the concrete. The Nets to Barclays, the Mets to Yankees. Ubers in yellow taxis. And while I'm fitted with some butters, we her savvy. When tight jeans was back from JFK to LaGuardia. City that never sleeps, insomnia. Home of Junior Mafia, word. Playground parks with the trees and the cars Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch Murals on the walls for the ones that we lost Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store Subway stations with the maps and the cars Summer cookouts, uncle got the sandals on Statue of Liberty, we holding up the torch If they ask where I'm from, tell them this is New York Brooklyn, Brooklyn Something I can't feel I just wanna 